Welcome back to the Texas music scene. It's time for Jack Ingram to feature a talented singer-songwriter that he deems worthy of your attention. We like to call it our Songwriter Series. It's acoustic, it's awesome, and it happens now. Hey, Ray. Thanks, little buddy. Now, this time, we've got an Austin, Texas native to shine that spotlight on. Her name is Carson McCone. A long-standing residency at the White Horse Saloon in Austin, along with a debut full-length album called Good Luck Man, has put this young and talented singer-songwriter well on her way to doing big things in Americana and roots music. So without further ado, let's introduce you all to Miss Carson McCone. Well, maybe they're just really good friends. Just pretend Just Really Good Friends was a song that was written because I caught myself saying that phrase. I thought it was funny. One of those that's like, man, I can't believe that hasn't been written. It's something that I think a lot of people can relate to and is discussed in many traditional country western sort of style tunes. I had me this good luck, man. He's got this way of hiding He's got a pretty memory But sometimes he needs mind. The Good Luck Man record, well, first of all, I had only released an EP I've two years prior. Just six songs, and that was some I'm of the first stuff that I had ever written. Then I started playing with a band, and I had, you know, a regular group of guys that I played with, and I had written all these new songs, and I was playing regularly at a place called The White Horse. I wanted to make a live record, and that's essentially what we did. We went into the engineer's house and set up and basically tracked everything live, and it's just, I mean, some of the songs, like the title track, Good Luck Man, that, that I played for y'all is, Definitely, you know, more stripped down songwriter acoustic stuff. And there's some more of that, some some darker songwriter stuff on there. But then the rest of it is pretty straight up country honky tonk music with the band of guys that I was playing with every week. I'm proud of that record because, you know, it was just directly taken out of those two years playing every week at the horse and um, writing songs about that. <laughs> Which is the first song on the record is actually a song that I wrote years ago. Actually, I was in high school and I was taking a songwriting class. Our only assignment was we had to write a song every week and perform it for the class. And that was when I was first started playing guitar and, and writing songs. It was a song that I, had, I hadn't played in a, in a while and I came back to and brought it to the full band and, and really loved revisiting it. And I think it's a, it's a nice opener to the record. It sort of rides that Americana line, country Americana line. I'm getting ready to make decisions about where and with whom I'll be recording a new record with. I have a handful of new songs. But yeah, I've been on the road for the past year and essentially our set now is comprised of like half of the songs from Good Luck Man and half of them are new and uh, pretty broken in. So I'm ready to get them recorded and out into the world. Um, that'll happen soon. But maybe there's really good friends And if not, I, I guess I'd just pretend 